In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Notion 4 external MIDI staff to send MIDI to Studio One 2.6.2 Producer. I'm doing this on the Mac, running Mac OS 10.9.2 Mavericks. To start off with, you want to go into Score Setup and you want to create an external MIDI staff. I've already done this for two of them. If you look down at the lower right corner, there's a button that says external MIDI. You want to click on that. You want to click on the port you want to use. Uh, I'm using MIDI port A, and then you can go up and choose a channel. So if I wanted to uh, create an external MIDI staff that outputs to channel three, I would click on channel 3 and then now I have one of those. So I want to get out of score setup. Uh, it's a good idea to save the project. Uh, you also want to go to Notion preferences and you want to be certain that you have uh, MIDI inputs and outputs set up correctly. In this case I'm using a virtual MIDI driver and I have the input port set to IEC driver, IEC bus 1, and I have the MIDI output set to port A, IEC bus 1. In the Studio One project, I have uh, an instrument track and I have it set up to use contact version 5 and I have a concert grand loaded. You can have more than one instrument in which case it's called a multi. The key to this is that you'll notice up here that the track that has contact 5 is its output, is its instrument output assigned to channel 1. It also has an instrument input and that's where you're going to do the MIDI connection. I'm using a virtual MIDI cable. If you click on this you'll see there's a configure option and what I've done is I've gone in and I've created an external device and specifically I created a new keyboard it's not actually a keyboard, it's a virtual MIDI cable, but th this is the way you do it. Now when you select it and then click on edit, you'll see that uh, the device name is virtual MIDI cable. I just typed that in. You can't really change this new keyboard, I don't think. I've got MIDI channel set to all. It receives from the IAC driver, IAC bus 1 it sends to nothing and I've got split channels and that's the way I configured it. And that's really all you have to do. So what's going to happen is that uh, when I start playing Notion is going to convert these notes to MIDI and it's going to send them by a virtual MIDI cable over to Studio One and it's going to be coming in to the track that has the contact concert grand piano assigned and that's going to cause the contact concert grand piano to play and I'm also going to go ahead and record it so that you can see how it looks Okay. Uh, at this point, the MIDI is recorded, and you can either double click on it or you can go down here and click on edit. 
and that brings up the MIDI editor and then you can uh, edit various parameters of it uh, velocity you can edit velocity modulation pitch bend and so forth and that's really all you have to do once you get it figured out it's super and fabulous thanks